Today is Thursday, November the 4th, 2021. This is the order of Compline. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful, grace, <clears throat> a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, turning to page 641, Frank will read Psalm 41. We'll read it in unison. Psalm 41. Happy are they who consider the poor and the needy. The Lord will deliver them in the time of trouble. The Lord preserves them and keeps them alive so that they may be happy in the land. He does not hand them over to the will of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and ministers to them in their illness. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies are saying wicked things about me. When will he die and his name perish? Even if they come to see me, they speak empty words. Their hearts collect false rumors. They go outside and spread them. All my enemies whisper together about me and devise evil against me. A deadly thing, they said, has fastened on him, and he has taken to his bed and will never get up again. Even my best friend, whom I trusted, who broke bread with me, has lifted up his heel and turned against me. But you, O oh Lord, be merciful to me, raise me up, and I shall repay them. By this I know you are pleased with me. What my enemy does not, that my enemy does not triumph over me. In my integrity you hold me fast, and shall set me before your face forever. Bless the Lord, God of Israel. From age to age. Amen. 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 Turning to page 131. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Praying together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep, 
and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, if you'll unmute, we can offer prayers for people. Safe travels for Frank and Mary. Sarah, Jordan, Trey, Bill Reagan, for Larry and Allison and Bethany, for Kathy, for Doris, for Lynn, for Elaine and family, and Faith, Anna, for Laurel, Lecca, for the people in Ethiopia, Matt, for Tom and for Fred, Debbie Torno. And Rachel. For Brett on his birthday. For Libby. Jordan. Susan. For Brett. Haley. For our meeting this weekend at Christ at Holy Cross. We give thanks for Pam and Father Allen and for the, all of our friends at Holy Cross. And for the beautiful snow that we had today. Amen. That was kind enough to melt off. Absolutely. <laughs> Father, we offer these prayers to you in your name, because you know you are our help and our, our redeemer. Amen. <clears throat> Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Mm -hmm.